So good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining the meeting today. Uh, today, I will be presenting about the Pinson Street sidewalk project. And I'm Shweta Rao. I'm with City of Fort Worth TPW. I'm the project manager on this project. And with us, we have today uh, Mayor Pro Tem, Bivens, and then um, our director, Lauren. Lauren, do you want to say a few words? No, I like to keep these short and sweet. So let's get on with it. Thank you. So uh, our current project, we will be going over uh, the agenda today. So the agenda includes the project background and the location map, the project schedule, some frequently asked questions about sidewalk projects and the project contact information. Coming to the project background, this project will improve pedestrian safety and mobility along Pinson Street from Village Creek Parkway to uh, Car Carver sorry, Carverly Avenue. Uh, this project will also be improving some of the pedestrian safety aspects around some schools, JPS Health Center, and the public trans transit stops. So we will be installing some uh, bus paths along the transit stop along the corridor uh, to provide better place for the pedestrian to halt while they wait for their bus. This project is funded using 2022 bond program funds. So coming to the location map, this is the location for Pinson Street from Village Creek to Carvalli. I'll show the more zoomed in map. So we will be installing sidewalk on the south side of Pinson Street all along the corridor. Coming to the project schedule, the project is currently in design phase. Uh, we are estimating to start construction in spring of 2025. Uh, the reason that we show um, the duration to be longer from this point is because we have some encore poles that need relocation along the corridor and um, we show some time for us to coordinate with Encore for that relocation. If it gets done sooner, we might start sooner, but that would be something that would be impacting our construction start on this project. Estimated construction duration is six months and the construction cost would be around 1.7 million. Coming to some frequently asked questions on the sidewalk project, uh, what would be the typical width of the sidewalk? So for a typical width, uh, City of Fort Worth standard has it to be five feet when it's detached from the curb or when it's closer to the curb or right next to the curb, it's six feet. Uh, we are going to some places where we will be reducing the sidewalk width to four feet just to preserve the trees that we have along the corridor right now. Um, will we be impacting any driveways as part of this project? There will be uh, reconstruction of multiple driveways along the corridor just to meet the ADA requirements. Uh, the driveways that are there right now um, that are like more than two that have more than two percent of cross slope that won't be meeting ADA compliance will be reconstructed to meet the compliance. Uh, but the property owner will be given access at all the time, so we will be replacing one panel at a time so that the property owner can still access their property. Will any existing tree removals be necessary? So we are not planning on removing any trees uh, as a part of this project. Will there be any detours? So we are not anticipating any detours. Our contractor will be working on the outer lanes, but the lanes would still be open for traffic at all time. Uh, next is, will any irrigation system be impacted? So if there is an irrigation system that's existing right now in the parkway where we are installing the sidewalk, uh, we will have our contractor replace them or, uh, sorry, relocate them to back of sidewalk as part of this project. Will the construction materials and equipment be left on site during construction? So yes, we, our contractor will have some equipment and material on site during construction, but the travel lanes will be reopened once the con uh, contractor leaves the site. So uh, at the end of day's job, the contractor will reopen all the lanes for uh, traffic.
Those were all the frequently asked questions that we usually receive for our sidewalk projects. Here is the project contact information. Um, I am the city project manager for the job, and here's my phone number and email ID. Todd Buckingham from Fris and Nichols is our design engineer, and here's his phone number and email ID. So for all other service requests that are not pertaining to this project, the residents can still reach out to City of Fort Worth using either my Fort Worth app for Apple or Google, or they can text hello at 817-835-6939, or they can call the City Call Center at 817-392-1234. Thank you everyone again for joining the meeting. I'll take the questions now if anyone has any questions. I, I do, and thank you for such a thorough, clear presentation. I think everybody will be able to see what's coming. I, I, I did take a, a few notes. Mm -hmm. I know one thing that you know, people will be asking us, why do we do just one side of Pinson? And I know we'll be doing the south side. Mm -hmm. What's the answer for not doing both sides? Um, I I think... Uh, Chelsea, she is from our transportation management department. When we started planning this project and when we were looking at either north or south side due to budget constraints, uh, Chelsea had some plans for the sidewalks on the north side as a part of different project. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on um, when that will be happening. Well, but, I, can uh, I can jump in Twitter. Um, Chelsea, I'm I didn't know if you were on call. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I'm having difficulties right now with my uh, internet connection at home, so I won't turn my camera on. Um, but originally, we had planned um, to do sidewalks on both sides of the street. Um, as Shweta mentioned, due to uh, kind of cost escalations and um, budget constraints, we um, had to reduce um, or make a decision about which side of the street to um, install sidewalks on. So originally uh, in making that decision, we were gonna do it on the north side, um, but once we uh, did some more constructability assessments and looked at the level of effort required to install the sidewalks, we decided to go on the south side of the street because there were more utility re relocations needed. And so we thought, you know, we would take the more challenging side of the street to install the sidewalks so that those property owners on the um, on the north side uh, would have an easier time putting in sidewalks. And we may still come back um, in the future to do some smaller sidewalk gap installations as well on the north side. So um, um, I'm not clear, are we not doing the north side because of money or because of the utility I don't, I don't understand primarily for funding. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. And so at some point in time, maybe a future bond issue could include north side, because that's certainly a question. People always ask, why didn't you do both sides? So just be prepared for that. And the other question that I have, or it's really just an offer to help. If you run into any difficulties involving encore polls, let me know mm -hmm. because. I know you all have your contacts, but between Don Perfect and Richard Casares, we could for sure not let pole relocation be a problem because they, they take pride in helping. And the other question that I have, uh, I know people know that I'm real sensitive to trees, but I'm not unreasonable. I wanna make sure we're not compromising uh, accessibility for people who have wheelchairs because we're leaving trees. And so when, when I look at six feet, you know, that I, I, I would think we would need more width than that. So you might want to re take a look at that again, because if you've got a wheelchair and someone is with you and most people who visit JPS and wheelchairs are not alone. And so you might want to take a look at that and make sure we're doing the best that we can by people who are accompanied in their wheelchairs and not everybody has a mobilized wheelchair. So I'm real concerned that we do the right thing by people with wheelchairs. Uh, sure, we'll do that. So, thank you for all the help with Encore. We'll reach out to you if we uh, have any issues in the future. And we will look at the sidewalk width along the GPS clinic just to make sure we are providing enough width uh, for the residents to uh, access the facility. 
and and who will get back with me on that because if you need help with JPS I can help with that too in terms of because they know mm -hmm. who their clientele is but mm -hmm. you know one thing I know for sure is people in those manual wheelchairs that's two people right there mm -hmm. and you know people shouldn't have to get off the sidewalk because we built a, a sidewalk that's too narrow okay uh, I will check our design plans after the meeting and I'll get back with you next week Thank you, thank you, and thank you for this meeting. Thank you, and uh, I also wanted to mention along why uh, we selected the south side, since we had like the schools, the GPS clinic, everything towards the south side of the corridor, and we also have multiple bus stops along the corridor for the Trinity Metro. I think that was one of the factors that we wanted to choose the south side instead of the northern side of Pilsen Street for the project. Okay, and can you send that to me in an email? Sure, I'll do that. Okay, that because I couldn't write that fast and had this phone from ringing too. Thank no you. Worries, I'll send you. Mm -hmm. I'll see y'all at your next two meetings. All right, Shweta, are you? Is this this it? We're done. Um, I was just checking if you have any more questions. I need to see if I have any in the chat. Uh, looks like I don't have any questions in chat. I think that is all I have then. Okay, we will see everyone back at 3 o'clock for the quail road in Lake Arlington. Uh, I think Philip has 1 more presentation. Oh, at one okay, yes, we're, yeah, we're actually doing 2 projects and Philip is about to present the 2nd 1. Philip, are you and Escal ready? Um, yes, originally we were starting at 145, but I guess if everyone's here, we can start now. Oh, um, um Chad, I think the mailer said 145. I'm not sure. If I see. We'll okay. Yeah, we might not be able to start early. Okay. We might have people calling in specifically at that time, so, um, we should probably wait, right? Lauren. I think so. Yeah, let's wait, but let's. Yeah not do it like this again in the future okay <laughs> all right uh this is council member bibbins i have another question i noticed there is a caller on from wfaa as in tv did you guys invite the media so just just so you know yeah, no, ma'am, I, I don't think we specifically did, but we do send out, you know, general invites and post it to the, the city calendar. Well, you might want to call back the number that's recorded for, for Channel 8 and see if they need any additional information. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Okay, well, we'll all jump off, uh, you know, I don't think yeah. we need to get the channel open for 30 minutes, but we'll bet. Come back at 145. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Great job, Shweta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.